Thunder Bay is known for a number of things and you know we have uh, over the years really diversified our economy so we have a number of different sectors. Uh, we have of course the resource extraction sector but we have health sciences, we have uh, tech sectors and so we need people in all of those sectors as well. So this is a an opportunity to uh, either um, use your skills but also gain new skills with the college and the university here on site that offer a wide variety of courses. I came to Canada uh, from the United States. I was a uh, professor at Harvard Medical School uh, for 15 years and then they recruited me to come to Thunder Bay. I came for the academic and research opportunity to grow my lab because space is much more limited in the U.S. So they're, they're starting a new research institute at the time at the Thunder Bay Regional uh, Health Research Institute and I had a, they were looking for a couple of senior scientists to help lead and guide the research institute. Working in, in Canada, the research culture is a little bit different in the United States, especially at Harvard Medical School and many, many places. It's very, very competitive uh, and, and sometimes even cutthroat. But in Canada, there's a huge collaborative spirit. Everybody works together. There's big provincial and national team grants where professors, uh, researchers in the same field collaborate together. And everybody helps you and we, we all help each other. So that is, is, is really different. We have a very strong data analytics program. Students learn a lot during their work with professors, with other colleagues of mine and they eventually get a job with Thunder Bay Hospital as well. I have seen that uh, people living in GTA area, they feel that Thunder Bay is very cut off, they do not have all those kind of resources, and that kind of image needs to be changed. I know uh, CEDC and other organizations are trying to portray Thunder Bay as a knowledge hub, and I absolutely agree with them that Thunder Bay because of Confederation College Lakehead University and Thunder Bay Regional Hospital we have a very vibrant economy here. I really commend the Canadian government because it has given the students a pathway to stay here so students come they study they get used to living in Canada they adapt to the culture they improve their language and then they graduate with a Canadian credential and then the Canadian government makes it relatively easy for them to stay for anywhere up to three years to work here and apply everything they learned. We have an awful lot of students who come here for our engineering programs and some of them are quite unique. Some of them are known across Canada and even outside of Canada. We have a very well-known aerospace manufacturing program. There may be one or two other colleges that offer something similar. Right now we have opened a brand new tech hub that uh, I can't remember how many millions of dollars we've invested in equipment there. But it's, uh, it's going to have state-of-the-art equipment for many of our engineering programs. We also have a very, very well-established dental and healthcare program. So we have many students coming into our dental hygiene program. So I chose a dental assisting program at the Confederation College. It's been a fortunate two years for me, with uh, both in regards to different two different programs that I took. Um, all the professors were wonderful with teaching me, guiding me, and uh, helping me to be in the position where I am today. L'opportunité pour quelqu'un uh, qui parle français uh, de venir à Thunder Bay, c'est parce que vous allez être uh, un parmi deux ou trois personnes seulement. Euh, dire qu'il ne va pas y avoir beaucoup de candidats, des gens qui auront ces compétences-là de parler français. Si vous restez à Toronto, il va y avoir beaucoup trop de personnes, euh, de candidats comme vous, alors que quand on s'éloigne des grandes villes, en venant par exemple à Thunder Bay, dans le nord de l'Ontario, euh, il y a beaucoup d'offres d'emploi qui demandent d'être de, euh, bilingue ou d'avoir le français comme atout, et du coup, vous vous démarquez euh, de l'ensemble des candidats.